Hi, this is Brisa from GP Suspension. If you've ever called into the shop, you've probably talked to me. You guys asked us a lot of questions about suspension, and so we decided to just film a series of technical videos, just informing you of all the details that you guys asked, your most asked questions, everything like that. This is the first video in that series, so it's just gonna be like an extensive overview of suspension, just down at a very fundamental basic level. And then you guys can, we'll get into like the more technical details as we roll more and more videos out. So leave us some of your questions below in the comments so we can answer those in our future videos. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So there are two main components of a suspension system, generally speaking. In most forks, there are two main components. You have your spring, and you have your valving or hydraulic portion of the fork. Um, this is a bagger, Harley-Davidson bagger fork right here. In this fork, and these are the actual OEM internals, the spring sits up here, and the valving or hydraulic portion of the fork is down here. So as the spring compresses, when your fork moves, whenever your wheel moves, the fork spring has energy behind it. So as it compresses, you're creating an upward force. The fork spring wants to come back. Basically, what your compression and your rebound valving do is they are there to control the energy of the downward motion of the fork spring, so the compressing and the rebound energy of the fork spring as it rebounds. And that's basically, on a very fundamental level, what suspension is and how it works on your motorcycle. And the reason that you want to have suspension is because you want more traction. You want your bike to be more comfortable. You want it to be more responsive. You want it to be more compliant. Everyone can appreciate good suspension. You know, even if you're just riding on the freeway, all you do is freeway riding. It just takes the stress out of riding your motorcycle, even if you're just changing lanes. And for those of you who want to do more aggressive riding, good suspension is probably the most important thing that you can do for your motorcycle. Having more traction, being able to get into a corner and, you know, really get on your front brake without having your fork just want to tuck and dive is going to keep you on the road. So really just suspension at the end of the day really just comes down to just creating more available traction for you. So now that we've given you a general overview of suspension, we're gonna talk a little bit about fork springs. This is the Harley Davidson bagger fork spring, and this is the fork spring that comes on our cartridge kit. It's very common for OEM cartridges to come with a very soft spring with a lot of installed preload, especially like the Lowrider S models, the Lowrider ST models. Those come with about, I wanna say it's like 36 millimeters of installed preload on like a 0.75 fork spring. So that's a lot of installed preload on a very soft fork spring. So we get a lot of people who complain that their suspension feels really rough off the top, but it's super soft. And it sounds kind of dumb coming out of your mouth, but that is exactly what's going on because you have so much installed preload that you're, it's, it's hard to compress at the top, but it's still soft all the way through the stroke. What you're gonna get really is a ride that is not soaking up any of the little bumps and the irregularities in the pavement. And it's gonna still have that really bad fork dive when you get on the brakes. So this is a GP suspension 25 millimeter cartridge kit fork spring. We run between a 0 0.90 and a 1.10 on the Lowrider and Lowrider ST models. We run no more than about eight millimeters of installed preload. The stiffer fork spring might seem counterintuitive, but what it does in conjunction with the less installed preload is it allows the fork to be really soft and supple off the top for all of those small bump situations, but still have the support where it's not diving every single time you know you, you get on the brakes. Um, and that really is gonna optimize your traction, rideability, comfort of the entire motorcycle. Now we're going to talk about the hydraulic portion of your bike or the valving. This is the Harley Davidson OEM 49 millimeter conventional fork valving. So this is what would come on a bagger, some of the Dynas. There's not a whole lot to it, as you can see. It's basically just a hole drilled into a damper rod of sorts. And that hole is basically responsible for metering your oil to control the energy of the fork spring. This is 
what comes in some of the stock cartridge style inverted forks, like the Lowrider S, the Lowrider ST. It's, it's an actual cartridge. So you are you're gonna have some, you know, you actually have a little bit of resistance on your compression and your rebound. You know, it has a little bit of controlling valving for your fork spring energy. But again, at the end of the day, there's there's not a whole lot to it. On one of the Lowrider S, ST, fork legs you have a it's essentially a dummy leg with a fork spring and then on the other side you just have this little tiny cartridge with a piston that just controls the compression and the rebound so not a whole lot to it on the gp suspension 25 millimeter cartridge kits we have 25 millimeter pistons with shim stacks so a shim stack is essentially they look like little washers and what those do is they sit on the pistons. As your fork compresses, your piston goes down and oil flows up through the piston and the shim stacks. And the amount of velocity that your fork travels is going to control the rate at which these shims basically kind of pop open and shut. So what you're looking for out of a good valving system is something that is plush off the top, so really nice and supple on those little small bumps, irregularities in the road, when your bike is leaned over in a corner, when the pavement gets a little bit of rough, it helps your tire maintain traction because it's just, it's able to absorb the compression and the rebound energy of the fork spring. And then it's also able to effectively give you the support you need when you hit a huge bump, a, a speed bump or a pothole, anything that makes your forks move at a really high velocity. A good hydraulic system will be able to handle all of those situations effectively, no matter what the road throws at you. We hope that you guys enjoyed this brief overview of how suspension works. We will be coming out with a lot more videos like this. Let us know in the comments what your questions are, what you want to see, and do you guys know what to do for future videos? Uh, like, subscribe, get notified, and we will see you in the next one.